Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do just a get ready with me because I want to put some makeup on and yeah, that's the situation. My hair is totally fading. I don't know if you can see. Look, look how light it's getting. It's weird because look, there's my roots. It's not exactly coming through. I've just put dry shampoo on. Weird. Okay, I don't have any new eyeshadow palettes currently apart from obviously the new Natasha Denona one which I have been using so much so I'm delving into other palettes that I have so today I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice palette because I don't really reach for it to be honest so this is what it will look like I won't be going for the mad colours because I can't be arsed I've used my Primark Primer water and I have on a lip oil that I was sent by an independent company because my lips are so, so dry. And I intend to use a blush from my blush book, the bronzer and my highlighter. But you know what, I'll probably end up forgetting. <laughs> so, let's just crack on in. And I have my little bag here that I just keep and I swap in and out all of my stuff because I think that's the best way just to do it so that we're getting things used. I'm not going to put an actual proper primer on today. I'm going to use this MAC Let's Make Waves Strobe Face Glaze. I really want to get the MAC Skin Tint that you see Amelia Olivia use on a thing <laughs> words Julie over on TikTok but they never seem to have the light shade that I want. It is very, very annoying. This is just to give me a little glow to my skin. It's very nice, very nice. It's not sticky, but I ended up picking this up. I don't even know if they still have it. When a uh, Poppy Rawson, I don't know if she still does YouTube that much, to be fair. Uh, she picked it up and she always have gorgeous, dewy skin. Who am I kidding? I need this wee mirror. I've got a really, really dry throat. I went back on this other medicine and the side effects. Oh, what is this? How did I manage to get a cut there? Seriously. Okay. It is very nice, but it does make you think like you're greasy. So maybe that wasn't the best idea, actually. Okay. Maybe I will put a primer with it then. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Luminous and Smooth Primer. I'll put a wee bit of this as well. Can you believe it's Friday already? I obviously pre-record, so this is going to be into October now. I will not be doing Halloween looks. I did try some last year over on my TikTok and that. And they were actually not too bad, if I say so myself, because I am not good at all that stuff. But, yeah, we're not even going to try <laughs> this year. So, for foundation, I am going to be using the Be Perfect Chrome Cover in the shade N2. Where is my foundation brush? You haven't been using one, Julie. You've been using your sponge. Let's just get my little spongy. This is just a Shein one that I got for free, like with my order, the last time I did an order. And it was, it's so nice. I'm just using the primer water to wet it because I'm too lazy to go to the bathroom and it means getting up and moving away. I didn't put makeup on yesterday because my eyes were a wee bit annoying. I don't know what the date is today. I'm not sure. The months are flying in, people. 
dare I say it, but have any of you started your Christmas shopping? I have started mine. I've got one thing so far for my other half. And I've got my best friend Emily's because they are the only two that I buy for. And I've got some other bits that I need to order, obviously. But I just like to get it in and get all organised. I know people hate hearing <laughs> you mention the Christmas word, but when you think about it, as I'm filming this just now, I know it's going to be up in October because I pre-record, but it's literally just around the corner, like honestly. And I know some people that do their Christmas shopping throughout the year, particularly people that have got like bigger families or loads of people to buy for or multiple kids and whatever. So, I think I've taken a wee bit too much of this foundation on the back of my hand and I hate that when you used it. This is supposed to be medium coverage. I don't know. I think again I would say it's sheer coverage. It is very nice though. Very nice indeed. If you haven't tried it before. And of course I'm the big 4 in December and my bestie Emily is coming up for it and I cannot wait to see her because I haven't seen her since I went down to York in 2019 for her 50th and that was also just around the time of it being a year of my dad's remembrance so it was all very you know how it goes right let's make sure there's no streakage I think I might actually need to go over it just with another sponge that isn't as damp. But I don't know about you guys, as, again, if you're not new to my channel, I always suffer with the heat and flushing, as you can see. Um, I don't know if pre gabbling you can let me know in the comments if anybody knows if it makes you overheat and sweat more because obviously I've been on pre-gabbling for a couple of months now for the fibromyalgia pain but oh it is a pain in the butt okay well we contour today this makes me laugh right I'm sorry but I don't think this is a contour shade this is light right to me a contour shade is more of like a grey undertone because it's to shadow so to me this is a liquid bronzer so I think I'm actually just going to use it like a liquid bronzer because like look that is not a contour shade is it like come on people please don't wind me up man <laughs> like honestly would you say that was a contour shade I wouldn't but Hey to the whole people. Like, I think that is a bronzer colour. I think if it was a contour, it should be a lot cooler toned, personally. But, I don't know. I suppose different strokes for different folks, isn't it? Like, to what they think. You know how um, P. Louise, she's just brought out like bronzer thingies, sticks or whatever you want to call them, spongy things, like she's done with her blushers, the cheek of it, that's what they're called. Um, and again, though I had to laugh because some people like when she was announcing it on Instagram particularly, where we're like, where is the contour shade? And people were getting annoyed about it and she was just like, it's not a contour. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everyone was like, the shades are too warm. Well, that's what I think with this. The shades are too warm. Like this is like the medium and even the deep. They're not, they're not contour shades. That was a tangent, wasn't it? 
hope we like to have a chat while we're getting ready but yeah that to me is a bronzer and it's very nice indeed okie cokie cokie then we don't need that as well that's too much a much too much uh, Julie function focus I am now going to take this blusher today this is my MAC Glow Play Blush and So Natural. Oh my god, it is so, so stunning. I'm going to take the best brush ever in the world. This is the Putty Blush Brush by Elf. I love, love, love this brush. I love this brush. And I'm just going to add a bit of this to my cheek. Now, I know you're going to be like, how is that going to give you anything, that blusher? But look. Nothing. Gloriousness. I just love it. It's so nice. It just, honestly. It's nothing out there, obviously. So if you're not into a blush that's crazy pigmented. Or, oh, no. See, I did it already. I was going to use the blush book and it's right in front of me. Oh well, and I don't want to add any more on top of it because I just think, well, I'll blush on anyway. <laughs> I do that all the time. I know myself. I literally just says at the beginning of the video that I'd forget to use and the bronzer. <laughs> Look, I've got them sat right here. And I forgot to use them. Like, well, I'll definitely use this highlighter then. This is the Doll Beauty Highlighter Palette. Julie, you're an absolute maddie. I'm going to use Shine Bright tonight. Oh, and Shine Bright it does. Can we just appreciate that? Like a diamond in the sky. Do I need to blend it a bit? Oh, for fuck's sake, Julie, what have you done, mate? Give me that. You can tell I'm in the house on my own because I talk a bit loud. <laughs> I don't know why I get a bit embarrassed about it, but that is madness. <laughs> okay, then. Right, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Now what we need is some concealer. I'm using my full filter one by Huda Beauty in Coconut Flakes. And we need all the help that we can get with the dark circles, people. I don't know what I caught myself on there. It's random, isn't it? Spongy bobs. Oh no, where's my little tiny one? Ha ha, there you are. Little number seven sponge. Get me spinets. I can't believe I literally had the palette sat there and said it'd be in this video and then I dive into there and forget. Oh no. This is what happens, Julie, when you're just not with it. I'm just going to take the concealer over my lids as well because. So what have you all been getting up to? Anything exciting? If you're a parent, all the kids are back at school now, which I'm sure you're all delighted about because they must drive you crazy. I'm just going on people that I know that have kids. And are just like, oh my god, when is the summer holiday over? <laughs> it must be very difficult, like, to keep them entertained and stuff, because unless you're, you know, well to do and you can afford to go on holiday or put them into, you know, like a holiday camp or something, all you get all the time is, I'm bored. Because I know myself that as a child, I was always bored in the summer holidays. As much as I hated school, 
with an absolute passion. You know, my mum had to work because, well, my dad didn't. And h and Cosmetics is powder. So she had to work. Obviously she could take, you know, she would have her days off and whatever. And she worked in hotel work, so it wasn't as easy. Oh, I didn't leave that too much there, did I? It wasn't as easy, you know, to just take the holidays at the height of a season sort of thing. And they couldn't afford to go abroad and what have you. Back in the day. So I was usually bored and at that point, you know, mobile phones and all that schnizzle were only just coming into it. it Sounds like an old lady, but I'm nearly 40, I'm old. I'm old. <laughs> Have a looky look, look. Yeah, that powder is really good. Now, are we moving on to eyeshadow, Julie? Do you know what you're doing? I think I need to just quickly make sure that there's no lines there. And I'm actually going to use a setting spray first. Oh no, hold on. I'm going to add some of this because I'm obsessed. It's the Kissed by the Sun Multi-Use Cheek Glow in So Cheeky by Iconic London. It's like a cheek hybrid type of thing. So I don't really know what you want to call it. But oh, I've just stuck my finger in it. I want the Manic Street Preachers to do. It just gives a gorgeous glow. Look at that. Um... So if you haven't tried these, you totally should. What is going on with my life, Julie? What have you done now? I look like a glitter ball. Manic, manic, manic. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Yeah, so I'm sure like parents are glad to have the kids back and back into some sort of routine and stuff. Because I can imagine it, especially if you've got more than one child. That is very much hard. This is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist by Colourpop. It is delightful. I really need to bring my wee fan in here as well. So we'll let that settle in. We're at 17 minutes and I haven't done the eyes yet. You're probably just like, Julie... What's with these long videos, mate? But it's just the way it is. Okay, eyes. As I said, we're going to use this palette. It's the Moroccan Spice one by Fenty Beauty. I got it a couple of years ago for my Christmas. I'm going to go into the shade. I don't even know what the shade. It doesn't say on them. It says at the back, but who's got time for that? This is just a birch box brush. This that was like the only time I ever got birch box. To be honest, and I'm just sort of patting it into. where I want it at the minute. Yeah, I do. I feel for parents because it, it isn't easy to keep kids entertained when they are on the summer holidays. I'm going to put this palette down and use this mirror because I can get it closer to my face so that I can actually see since I can't wear my glasses. I've got a dry pad here, of course. See that? The texture. Just with my eczema that I get on my eyes. This is a gorgeous colour. I 
again I'm just hacking it in can you keep up with the youtubers like obviously I know the bigger youtubers you know like Zoella and Jamie Genevieve all these bigger people they get PR sent to them and all that kind of stuff so they get you know they, it's easy enough for them to have new things to show you all the time but even like the smaller youtubers like there's one woman I watch Claire Walsh and I swear to god like it's like they're going out constantly and buying every new release going um I know obviously TikTok shop do a lot of offers so you know if you can it's great to jump on there and get them but I I can't afford to be doing that so that is why I'm afraid if you're watching my channel and you're like why are you using like older palettes I'm using the older palettes because it's just what I have to do you know what I mean At the end of the day, if I could afford to jump out and get the newest release that's there every two minutes, I definitely would, but the reality of it is that I can't, eh? so I'm afraid that is the reality of it. And trust me, my wish lists are endless. Like, even things that aren't new out, but... I've never tried before, like, like even that iconic London, this has been out for, I don't know, a month or so, and there's so much iconic London stuff I want to try, I really want to try their skin tint, because I've heard great things, I really want to try the Aborian one, because every man and his wife goes on about that one. Okay, shimmer wise, let's have a look, I think I'm going to go into this gold, oh my goodness, look at that. Um, that's gorgeous look but yeah every man and their wife is just and I really want to get the curve cases by Mitchell more so if I'm honest for the blush but I've never actually tried any of his bronzer ones but see these blush ones I just I just don't get on with them and I've heard other people say as well that the formula in the curve cases of the blush is brilliant but of course the light one is sold out at present on TikTok shop and on his website and on Beauty Bay and I want to get the medium one more so for the thing base as well but I'm not the only one out there that's obviously dying to get their hands on it I need a little smaller one and I'm going to take the darker shade is that a shimmer? I think that might be a shimmer. I'm just going to lightly just add a wee bit of them in and out. Look at that edge there. It's also good to re like what would be the word? Reuse, I suppose, or rediscover the palettes that you have. Like the tart one that I used the other week. I am really not a matte person. I'm not into matte shadows at all. But to be honest with you, that tart is pro palette. It's predominantly matte. And the shimmers in it are actually awful. So. You know. But this is actually really stunning. This palette. It's like everything, you know, you have your favourites of things and half the time you tend to just stick to them, don't you? Like, if you've got your favourite lipsticks or perfumes or what have you, even if you've got, like, predominantly loads of different ones. That's really nice. Okay, mascara, using the Max Factor one because I love it right now. Oh 
my lovely friend Laura though, she's so good to me. She says she's in America. She's adopted me like her niece, <laughs> and uh, she's just so kind. I've got a parcel on, on its way to me from her, so I'll do an unboxing because her, her mum also, who's in her 80s, watches my video, so she likes to see me unbox it. And um, there'll be some makeupy bits, I'm no doubt, in there that I can share with you all. I've got a lip oil on and I think I'm just going to put a bit of this Charlotte Tilbury over the top of it because my lips have been so sore and dry. And I am done. That will do. So this is my Get Ready With Me using the Moroccan Spice Fenty Beauty Palette. I'm going to go open the show you now. And I basically used this these two and this one here to create a look. So I hope you enjoyed the video, if you made it right to the end, because I know they're long and I know if I could figure out how to edit and not edit without taking out the wrong parts of the video, it wouldn't be as long. But such is life and, you know, you can always skip forward bits if you're like Julie, just shut up and get the point. But let me know in the comments by putting a little emoji or something if you got to the end. And even if you just watched a wee bit of it, thank you anyway. And please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.